Spin. Welcome everybody. Today we're going to do a review on a Hilti 75-1-822. It's a Hilti vacuum. I've had it for a few weeks now. haven't really gotten the opportunity to take it out and do a review or play with it. So I just cracked the top of the box open. I got a, a uh, battery right here, freshly char charged. So we're going to see what kind of suction it gets. It's supposed to be CF5 CFM, uh, but uh, we'll see uh, how... how uh, how, how it performs like I said I got the top open basically the contents is the strap comes with a vac of uh, um, the vacuum manual and let's get this thing open let's see here I'm gonna pull on it come out comes with a brush And for, for you guys that do construction, this is uh, the Ocean 1926 uh, Silica compliant also. It meets tab Table 1 comp uh, compliant. So. Couple different knobs up at top and push buttons. The very top, we're going to start off. We got the max setting, the off, and eco. If you want a long-lasting battery, you set it up to eco. That becomes economic. Off, max, you get the uh, highest performance out of it, which would probably be the 75 CFM. There is also a top button. This is for the Table 1 compliance for the HEPA filter. Once it becomes clogged up, every so, so many holes you drilled, concrete or, or whatever it is that you're uh, cleaning, uh, you come in, you hit the, the button, and you should clear out your filter. Also, when you look at this vacuum here, you will have an eject button. This eject button will release the hose out of the suction. You can plug it into the exhaust port. Real simple, you just push it on it, now it becomes a blower. Very handy. You can blow lines in conduits, you can suck lines in conduit. Um, Very sim simple to reattach. This is a, a slot right here for the brush. Locks in a place. Go around the back. This is the port for the battery. That's where the battery slides in. You do have a little metal clip here. This is where this little hook here for the holder will clip on. I won't, I won't clip it on just yet. What we're going to do, we're going to move on to opening the internal parts. We're going to look at the internal parts to see what they consist of. So, it's got a handle on each side. All you do is pull out on it. Okay, looking at the bottom here, you have your HEPA filter. Uh, very easy to remove. You turn the dial there, turn the dial there. HEPA filter comes out. They have standard filters or they have HEPA filters. Uh, this black thing, that's the knock there for the for the table one compliance. That is the knock to clean out the, the HEPA filter. Let's lock this back in, lock this back into place. Very simple. Just turn the dials. This is the the bottom of the vacuum comes already these filters come already with the with the with the uh, vacuum comes with one bag looking at the at the bag there is a hole here which there is also a hole over here when you reassemble this hole, hole needs to go in that pocket very easy you just drop it in Lines up real smooth. You pop them in, done deal. I'm gonna go ahead and clip on these clips. There's one on each side. There you go. If you need to walk around anywhere with it, put it on your shoulder. Very easy to, to carry. This weighs about 11 pounds. So it's not very heavy. I'm going to go ahead and um, drop in the battery. 
We're going to put it on off. We're going to drop the battery in. The battery did display fully ch full charge. So now what we see what it's all about. One thing we do need, should always do if you're on a construction site, uh, if you're going to use this for uh, to meet the Table 1 com compliant, the 1926 standard, I would recommend, highly recommend, always keep your manual with you. All right, let me get this here. I'm going to go ahead and turn this on and, and, try see, it? and try it, see what kind of suction it gets. First, we will try it on eco mode. Yeah, you can feel pretty good suction. Okay. Pretty good suction. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, looking at this here, you see a little, little drop. That's telling you it's not a wet vacuum. So this is a little dry vacuum. We're gonna move over to the max setting and see what kind of section we get out of the max setting. Pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. Perfect. Super easy. Obviously, I didn't go out and try it out in the real world, uh, sucking up concrete dust. But I think this is definitely a good tool to use the job. If you have a grinder with a with a uh, you know dust attachment, you could definitely connect this to it. Uh, jigsaw, any type of uh, attachment that you can uh, use a uh, suction tool, this would be a perfect. Uh, you don't have to drag out extension cords, anything like that. Well, guys, thank you for uh, looking at my video. Uh, you guys have a great day. Well, guys, if you guys are wondering about the price of the tool, the, the tool itself, uh, without a battery, runs about $229, give or take $200. You may be able to find it cheaper online. Uh, I went straight through Hilti. But uh, anyhow, uh, Hilti is a top quality brand you probably won't be disappointed in, in the performance on it I highly recommend it like I said I haven't really used it on the real world but I'm sure it's gonna uh, perform outstanding uh, all the other tools that I've uh, definitely tested uh, have met and exceeded uh, my expectations so uh, again you guys uh, thank you for watching my video you guys uh, have a good one